What's going on guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. If you're new channel, remember to subscribe, do all that great stuff. Alright yo, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to texture like a pro, you know, using Octane. So we're gonna actually be comparing um, that to a real life environment and how it actually fits in properly. So it's gonna be fun. Now obviously if you guys don't know this is Iron Man um, 3D model. It's uh, sort of high quality but it, it, it's manageable, yeah. Okay, so let's begin. I already have all my textures just dragged in, but I haven't like connected it yet. So I'm just gonna change this to viewport rendering so you guys can see what I have. This is basically what I have so far, and uh, I'm just gonna turn on my Octane Daylights. Yep, that's what I have so far, y'all. Now let's just put in some, yeah. As you can see it's shining so much <laughs> that's because of the bloom power okay so let's begin now I'm gonna start off with the helmet um, like I said before I already have my um, stuff you know brought in so I don't have to start it dragging it all over again so this is the diffuse um, material you have to go to octane here and uh, click on octane metallic so that's how you start all right Okay, oh, I canceled it. Shoot. Let's just do that again. Okay, that's good. So, uh, we're just going to drag this to the diffuse area. Now, obviously, that really didn't do much. You can tell. Um, we are going to drag our normal to the normal area. And then, we're going to drag. Now, this roughness, you can drag it to the roughness. Uh, spot this brings out those you know those kind of dirt material but I have a different purpose for this okay I want to drag my roughness into the specular I know you guys are wondering what what's going on why are you doing that I'll tell you why and then I'm gonna drag my dirt into the roughness so again I'm going for a more realistic Iron Man as you can see you see what's going on you see the scratches it does look realistic okay so that's why I went for that as compared to if you just you know drag the roughness here and then probably you want to drag your uh, this metallic here or we can drag this here and then we we'll drag our diffuse here so you can see that that is not much realistic see what I mean so again it's your preference for me I like to do that so yep I don't really need the this texture here so drag that to the specular and then drag your dirt here it just brings out the realisticness of your texture alright so let's do the torso down so the torso down we're basically gonna do the same thing for the torso down is around here so we're gonna do the same thing Drag the diffused here, drag the normal map here, and then the dirt, drag it to the roughness, and then the roughness, drag it to the specular. As you can see, what that's doing, it brings out the realisticness of the armor. You know, like armors are like really scratchy. So now let's compare again like I did before so let's put this into the roughness and then we'll put this into the specular then put this into the specular map so you see that that is more cleaner it doesn't look really look real to me that's why I'm using that um, method okay so I'm just gonna drag this back here okay so we're gonna basically do the same for the rest so I'm not gonna like keep talking about that let's do the same thing drag our dirt map to the roughness drag the roughness into the specular we'll do it for the knack too knack 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 normal diffuse roughness the specular I'll add some dirt all right 
for the legs do the same uh, color normal roughness drag that to the specular there drag it here then the legs the same so let's just look at the legs uh, it's normal this is roughness specular and the hands the last one so uh, specular here normal diffuse let's bring in the dirt okay so basically we are literally done with our I know you guys are wondering where's the lights right so if you want to do the lights you have to actually select the areas that you want the light like right here I want the lights and also the eyes so I'm just gonna go over to what I did here so uh, I'm gonna enable my diffuse and emission okay let me tell you guys what I did so basically I changed the diffuse to blue because you need to change it to what color you want like for example you want it green you have to change it to green and then you probably change this to green as well you know what I mean so that's sort of how you accomplish that and then we have um, oh that's a helicopter and then we have to bring in a black body emission we got it from here you just grab that in and then put in an RGB spectrum you can just search for it and then you drag it to the distribution and change the, the color to blue and then over here I increase my power and turn on surface brightness to to because if I remove the surface brightness, it's gonna be like this I have this craziness we don't want that so click that in there I'll probably increase the brightness to or the power of the light to 2000 all right so now let's compare this to our real life environment shall we let's see how it's gonna look so I'm gonna come over here to the octane settings just go down and click on alpha channel now for some reason I don't know why it's not working but uh, maybe it's because I have my viewport here okay that's why huh, so it doesn't work with the viewport uh, that's just that's annoying hmm okay so I guess we're gonna use this then so as you can see it does look real realistic you know what I'm saying like that was what I was trying to aim for like let it be realistic so let's just play with the lights try to match it up with our environment I feel like the light is coming back so I'll probably have it like this so guys as you can see it does look realistic that was my whole point of doing the textures like this let's try a different you know um, let's try a different environment let's see um, let's try this New York City okay so that is looking uh, so it's kind of yellowish the lights Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. As you see, it does look really real. Look at that. It fits the environment properly. So if you want to animate, you can go ahead and animate. So, sort of that was my go-to. Let's try another environment. Uh, you just have to make sure that it really does fit properly. So this is somehow Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. <laughs> Funny. So again, it's kind of like a bright daylight. So we're just gonna make this bright. Yep. So, you know, it does really fit properly. 
However, this is not a good <laughs> it's not a good picture. Let's try another one. I do have a lot because I usually test my texturing if it's if it can be compared to a real life environment. In case you want to implement that to your you know scene or something, right? So uh, let's see. Uh, this one might be quite challenging because the light is coming from. It's kind of weird to get the light right. See where it's coming from. Light is coming from behind. So again, it, it does fit properly. Actually, this this actually fits properly. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you accomplish a very realistic um, metallic object. Uh, so, feel free to experiment on this. Let me just move Iron Man to this lady. Say, hey lady, how you doing? So you see, it looks really, really good. It looks really, really good. Really impressive. Alright, y'all, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to see you guys next time and take it easy. Peace.